When Brittany Griner found out she was going to be released from a Russian prison, she couldn't help but worry about those left behind. During her May 1 ABC News special 2020, Prisoner of Russia, the two-time Olympic gold medalist shared an exclusive interview with Robin Roberts in which she talked about receiving a letter letting her know that she would soon be returning home. The WNBA athlete told Roberts, 63, I saw that paper and I was so thrilled. It said, be ready to leave. Greiner claimed that she had no idea where she was going or where the prisoner exchange would take place once she boarded the aircraft. She was shocked to learn, however, that Paul Whelan was not a passenger. After being charged with espionage, the former U.S. Marine has now been held in Russian custody for more than five years. All right, maybe I'm early, I thought to myself as I continued walking and failed to spot him. Perhaps he's next, the basketball player remarked. And I was like, are you really not going to let this man come home right now, after they shut the door? Roberts also inquired about Griner's thoughts on the notion that her release in return for the person known as the Merchant of Death was an unjust deal. The athlete retorted, if that trade had been up to me, I would have gone and got Paul and brought him home. But it's a victory for Americans whenever we can bring home an American. In snippets of the interview released earlier on Wednesday, Griner talked about how, upon realizing that she had unintentionally brought a cannabis oil cartridge into Russia, she felt as though her life was crumbling away. In an interview with Roberts, Griner recalled that the morning of her arrest, she was late getting up and that she had gone into panic mode in an attempt to get everything straight. I never arrive late for my wake-up calls. Roberts then asked Griner to recollect the incident when she reached down in her suitcase and felt the cartridge in response to a request by Russian airport security to inspect her belongings. Oh my God, Griner recalled thinking, how could I make this mistake? How could I have been so forgetful, simply then, she claimed, could just visualize everything I worked so hard for crumbling and going away, following her arrest. Get the best of people, from captivating human interest stories to juicy celebrity news, by subscribing to their free daily newsletter. Don't miss a story. Coming home, Griner's new biography goes into depth about her incarceration in Russia and the ways in which the global hashtag WeRBG movement, started by fans and supporters, helped her get out of it. Griner was originally given a nine-year term in a Russian prison. On December 8, she was freed in a prisoner swap for international arms dealer Victor Bout, and she left the country the next day. ABC's 2020 Prisoner of Russia premieres on May 1 at 10 p.m. Eastern Time.